Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I want to do a quick video of my wood splitter where I redid some plumbing. Here's the new gauges and new plumbing I did on this. So first off, I did have this pressure gauge in here but it was a 0 to 5,000. I changed it to a 0 to 3,000. So that's the main system pressure. Splitting pressure, same scale. You can see that, 0 to 3,000. And cylinder retract pressure, same scale, 0 to 3,000 PSI. So what I did here by replumbing this, I added in this ball valve on the pilot circuit that controls the dump valve. My main goal of this is to see how much, if any, benefit this dump valve is adding to this splitter. So I'm going to set the camera up back here, I'm going to fire this thing up and let you folks listen and time what is going on with this splitter when I have the dump valve in operation and when I have it off. Before I fire it up here, I'm going to give you guys some parameters on this. I'll get it running and you'll see RPM and oil temperature. What do you think? I was surprised on the pressures on the retract. When I had the dump valve in operation, I was around 200, 250 PSI on retract. When I had this valve closed so the dump valve wouldn't be working, we were up to about 500 PSI on the retract. And far as speed, maybe a second and a half faster on the retract and from my calculations I'm trying to force about 55 56 gallons a minute coming out of the base port when this thing is retracting again this is a 28 gallon a minute pump so calculating that out on the retract this valve body is only rated at 25 gallons a minute so that dump valve is taking half of it if not more and the pressure differential was 500 psi when it's trying to ram it back through the valve body and 200 250 when it's sending it through the dump valve or most of it through the dump valve maybe some is still going back through the valve body and i'm picking up maybe one to one and a half seconds of retract speed i don't know is it worth it in my book yeah especially for this splitter with the size of this hydraulic tank anything i can do to keep that oil cooler 
And the way you keep that oil cooler is to keep the pressures down on it. So half this time of this splitter is spent on retract. You can hear how much this engine labors. So, well, thanks folks, and we'll see you on the next one. One more thing, folks, that I just remembered. Um, for the guys that got these things, take your inspection cover off and look at your Lovejoy coupling here. And look at the spider. See if it's intact. I'm betting it's not. I went through two of the original Buna rubber. Finally, I ended up replacing it with a high trail. You can get them through Granger. The part number is 1A925. They're designed to take a lot more power, a lot more torque. The Buna rubber, they're good for about an 8 horse motor, if that. So, with these being 16, 15 horse, that just tears these spiders up. Alright, thanks guys. We'll see you on the next one.